वेलकम बैक इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अबाउट वट वेर द डिफरेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट्स दैट वेर परफॉर्म बाई फेरेडे इन ऑर्डर टू एस्टैब्लिश एलेक्ट्रो थोरी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन आई विल कंटिन्यू विद एट देर आर थ्री एक्सपेरिमेंट्स दैट वेर परफॉर्म बाई फेरेडे फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट वट फेर एडिटेड ही टू के कॉइल कनेक्टेड ए सेंसिटिव गैलमोमीटर एक्रॉस द कॉइल टू डिटेक्ट एनी करंट इन दिस कॉइल and he took a bar magnet placed it in the vicinity of the coil let's suppose this is north and this is south pole of magnet what faraday observed was that whenever this bar magnet was pushed towards the coil this galvanometer showed deflection when bar magnet was pushed towards the coil galvanometer showed deflection when bar magnet was pulled away from the coil say in this direction galvanometer again show deflection however it was observed that when bar magnet was pushed towards the coil the deflection showed by the galvanometer was in one direction and when this bar magnet was pulled away from the coil the deflection was in the opposite direction please take note of this when bar magnet was pushed towards the coil galvanometer showed deflection but in one direction when bar magnet was pulled in opposite direction again galvanometer showed deflection but in opposite direction and whenever this bar magnet was kept stationary near this coil that means you are not moving this bar magnet this is stationary at this place this galvanometer showed zero deflection so what do we conclude from this we concluded three things number 1 a current appears only if there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet what i mean by relative to motion is i told you whenever you pu push this north pole this magnet towards the coil this show deflection alternately how you can perform this experiment is you keep this bar magnet fixed at its position you can move this coil you can either shift this coil towards the magnet or you can shift this coil away from the magnet in either case if you are making this bar magnet to move or you are making this coil to move when there is a relative motion between the two that's what i mentioned here a current appears only if there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet either you are moving the magnet or you are moving the coil you move the magnet it will show deflection you move the coil it will show deflection in either case it will show the deflection fine this was the first point that was noted second 
it was noted that faster the motion faster the relative to motion between the coil and magnet more the deflection what does this mean this means if you move this magnet faster it's showing more deflection if you move this magnet slowly it's showing less deflection if you're not moving this magnet at all it is showing zero deflection what are the reasons for this experiment we'll come to that in the theory of what are the laws of faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction till now abhi ke liye hum khali study kar rahe hain what are the experiment that were performed by faraday so the deflection in this galvanometer was directly proportional to the relative to motion between the two faster the relative to motion more the current induced here slower the relative to motion or less the relative to motion less for the current induced over here fine and if there was zero relative to motion between the two then zero deflection galvanometer does not show any deflection in that case okay and what was third thing observed the deflection of galvanometer or what you call the direction of the current in the coil reverses when the direction of moment of magnet reverses what i mean to say is let's suppose this coil is fixed at this place you are moving this north pole towards the coil fine when you move this north pole towards the coil the galvanometer will show deflection but now if you move this north pole away from the coil this will again show deflection galvanometer will again show deflection but in this case the deflection is opposite to the deflection that was initially observed when north pole was moved towards the coil so when you move magnet towards the coil you have deflection in one direction when you move this coil in opposite direction when you move this magnet in opposite direction the def deflection galvanometer is in opposite direction fine so these are the three things that we noted from first experiment of faraday okay now let's come to second experiment of faraday in this setup faraday used a coil and connected a galvanometer g over here to detect any current in this coil fine he used one more coil here connected a battery across it and a resistor let's call this coil as c1 let's call this coil as c2 now you tell me initially suppose this coil c2 is not here what is current through this coil c1 this current has to be zero because there is no source connected across this coil c1 when there is no source connected over here the current through this coil is zero clear okay what is current through this coil c2 if this voltage is suppose v this resistance r so there will be a current flow over here and that current i will be v divided by r we are not concerned about the magnitude but there is a current over here in coil c2 
when there is current i flowing through this coil c2 we already know from the earlier chapters on magnetic fields that a current carrying coil behaves as a magnet now you have a current carrying coil when you have a current carrying coil so this will behave as a magnet now you this coil c2 is behaving as a magnet now what are we going to observe is suppose you bring this coil c2 you push this coil c2 towards coil c1 now try to draw analogy between this and the previous experiment in the previous experiment i had a bar magnet over here and i was moving that bar magnet either towards the coil or away from the coil in this case i don't have a bar magnet but i do have a magnet why because i have a current carrying coil this is a coil c2 carrying current i so this is a current carrying coil now this current carrying coil is being pushed towards the coil c1 in in the previous experiment we were pushing a bar magnet towards coil c1 in this case we are pushing a current carrying wire that is a magnet this again behaving as a magnet towards the coil what was observed is that this galvanometer showed deflection that means when a current carrying wire was pushed towards the coil c1 this coil c galvanometer connected to coil c1 showed deflection again when this current carrying coil c2 was pulled away from coil c1 this galvanometer again showed deflection but showed deflection this time in opposite direction isn't it similar to the previous case in previous case what we observed is whenever a magnet was pushed towards the coil galvanometer showed deflection when whenever the magnet was pushed away pulled away from the coil galvanometer showed deflection in opposite direction here again you observe you are observing the same things the only difference in that experiment and this experiment is in that experiment you used a coil and a magnet here you are using a coil and another coil which carries a current i and we already know that this current carrying coil behaves as a magnet so this is as if you are pushing a magnet towards the coil and pulling a magnet pulling a coil away pulling a magnet away from the coil so in either case when when you push this coil towards the c1 it will show deflection whenever you pull c2 away from c1 it will again show deflection but deflection here will be opposite in either case when you pull push it towards it say deflection is in this direction when you pull it away say deflection is in this direction fine so what can we finally uh, say about uh, how does this coil c1 what does why does the galvanometer connected to coil c1 show deflection this will show deflection only when there is some current flowing over here so we concluded basically whenever you are pushing a magnet towards the coil or you are pulling the magnet away from the coil or in other words whenever there is a relative to motion between this coil c1 and a magnet coil c1 and a magnet because this is behaving as a magnet fine this shows deflection let's now move to third experiment in third experiment what was basically done again we use coil c1 you connected a galvanometer g across the coil to, to detect any current over here and we used another coil c2 over here we connect a battery to coil c2 a resistor and a switch this is a switch in this case i am neither moving coil c2 neither are we moving coil c1 both c1 and c2 are stationary at their positions we are not moving any of the two coils but what are we doing here is initially when the switch is open when the switch is open this is r this is v this switch is open is the circuit closed or open the circuit is open whenever the circuit is open will there be a current flow in the circuit 
no there won't be a current flow in the circuit when there is no current flow in this circuit no current is flowing in the circuit will this behave as a magnet no it won't behave as a magnet when it does not behave as a magnet will it induce some current over here it won't induce current over here then what was done keeping c1 and c2 stationary at their places this switch was closed when the switch was closed now there is a current flow through this coil when this current flows through this coil this will behave as a magnet when this behaves as a magnet now you have a magnet over here that is producing a magnetic field and you have another coil over here it was observed that the instant you close the switch over here when you close the switch here at that instant there was momentary deflection by this galvanometer g that means i will again repeat this because this is very important whenever i close the switch over here please mark my words whenever I, whenever i close the switch over here at that instant this galvanometer is showing a momentary deflection now when the switch is closed this does not show any deflection that means this galvanometer showed deflection only when at that instant in which instant i closed the switch momentarily this show deflection and then it again came back to zero though the switch is closed now what are the reasons for this we'll come to that next what was observed now suppose this switch is closed for some time finally you are again opening the switch when you open this switch the circuit breaks initially there was current flowing here now this current will become zero what was observed that this galvanometer again shows a momentary deflection at the instant in which you open the switch that means this galvanometer g is showing deflection only at two instants deflection first the instant switch is closed second the instant switch is opened no deflection after opening the switch and after closing the switch so this galvanometer was showing deflection only at that instant in which you close the switch or you open the switch when you have closed the switch though there is current flowing continuously over here it's not producing any current over here no and when the switch is open the instant you open it it will show deflection but when it's open for a long time it does not show any deflection over here so how do you explain all the three experiments when faraday performed the three experiments then they had to explain what are the three phenomena what what happens how can you explain all the three experiments for that faraday gave faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction i'll come to them in next chapter inshallah sorry in next lecture inshallah thank you